be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Be Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you the chord track for Logic Pro 11, okay? So we're gonna be talking about the Logic Pro 11 new advancement, the chord track. This is gonna be for people who, you know what I'm saying, you're not really too music theory inclined and you wanna make chord progressions and things like that. I'm gonna show you how to do that in the software. Real simple. So. We're gonna start with uh, you know MIDI track. Go to instrument default, and um, we'll basically come up here and just grab a piano sound. It's cool enough. And right under this transport area, okay, where you see you know record, stop, play, stuff like that. If you scroll down just a little bit, um, you're gonna see this area. This is where, and this is your global settings. This is where um, you got your arrangement marker and stuff like that you'll see chord, okay? And basically just push this uh, plus sign right here. And you can um, select minor and all the other ones, augmented, diminished, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and select a minor uh, chord progression. And then we're gonna go, hmm, we'll go F sharp, all right? And then once you do that, pretty much however long you want it, you can pretty much set it like that. Um, four bars eight bars we'll do an eight bar loop from here all you have to do is right click on the actual track right there and then you'll see some chord progressions that you can use let's try this one now if you just push play you're not going to hear anything but what if you could do is you just take this and then drag it down over here uh, in the arrangement window now it's going to create the chord progressions let's check it out Pretty dope, right? Um, you can also come over here, right click it and choose other ones. Then drag it down over here. You can also come over here and make this like shorter. Then do another one. Uh, we'll do minor. I'm just gonna pull it like this. And so you do two different chord progressions. So let's say this one here, and then we'll do this one there. So now I can take this and drag it down, and there we go. So this helps you to be able to create something real quick within Logic um, Pro 11, you know, getting some type of chord progression in here. There's other ways you can um, use it as well. Um, let me just delete these. Right click on it. You can create chords. You know, you can ungroup chords. You can do all these different things right here. Assign key signatures, double chord rhythm. You know different stuff like that but obviously once you come in here you can double click on this you can you know change things up if you want to things like that so make sure you get subscribed to the channel for more tips like this i drop videos like this throughout the week also go to my website bemakingbasics.com we have courses we have sound kits that are royalty free and we also have templates one-on-one -on -one services where you can meet me live and i can you know answer your questions you get a recording of the video after the call um, a whole lot of good stuff and services to help you especially if you're a beginner level producer you need help with the basics and the fundamentals and this is going to be the channel and the website for you be making basics.com check it out appreciate y'all watching and i'll see you in the next video